to Sarah again. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say right now I'm sorry. I really am. I said in my last video that I was going to be trying to bring you guys a Copic Marker Skin Coloring Tutorial video. And this really did start out as a tutorial video. But I, I don't know what I was thinking. I really wanted to do a watercolor piece. I wanted it to be watercolor. Because I love using my Daniel Smith watercolors. And decided to do it on watercolor paper. And I know better. Um, ink markers don't do too well on watercolor paper. Even hot press like this paper is. And um, I, I just wasn't thinking about that. And so it, I just really didn't like how it turned out. So I decided not to keep it as a um, skin coloring tutorial video and just decided to make it a sketch with me slash paint with me video. Um, but I will be coming to you guys with that tutorial hopefully next video and I will be doing it on Copic marker paper. Yes, and it won't be a finished image like this. Uh, it'll just be maybe a face and an eye and, you know, just simple things so you can actually see how I blend. Um, and I will be recording it on my camera and not my phone as well because I can get better angles and better quality uh, when I go to edit. I can flip the image so you can see it and you won't be seeing my face. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still working on the angle while recording um, on my phone. It's just it's so much easier to transfer the video when I record on my phone. And it, it's just a lot quicker, which is why I do use it so often. But yeah, I will be recording it on my camera. Um, and as you can see, I'm showing you right now the markers that I use. Those are my skin color markers, skin coloring, my skin tone markers. I'm sorry. Um, and my colorless blender. I don't really use my colorless blender a lot, but I decided to use it this time. And anyways, it it didn't turn out very satisfactory for me because again, it was done on watercolor paper, and watercolor paper just absorbs so much ink, and it just it doesn't blend very well. So, yeah. And this really is a mistake video. Just so many mistakes after mistakes, accidents. Like what you see now, me inking the drawing, that's one mistake because I didn't let the Copic marker ink dry before I decided to ink it. And it caused it to feather really bad. So that's one mistake. It's just a lot of ink mistakes, this drawing. And. I really thought about stopping and just not completing the drawing but I decided to just keep working through it for some reason I just you know I was like you know what I'm just I'm just gonna keep working through it the creatures is another mistake I don't I don't even know what they are honestly I was just drawing I had something in mind something cute I was trying to go for cute and I drew creatures that don't make sense. Yeah. That was another mistake. Um, and I didn't plan this drawing out other than attempting to make it a skin coloring tutorial. So I didn't have any direction. I didn't know what I was gonna, what colors I was gonna use. I just knew I wanted watercolor. That's another mistake, uh, me trying to add highlights to one of the eyes of the creature, not realizing that it was still so much wet ink on it, so it didn't highlight, and I just rubbed it right on my finger to clean the uh, gel pen off, the tip of the gel pen, because it had gotten black ink all on the tip of the gel pen, so I just wiped it right on my finger. That's a habit I need to stop doing. But yeah, um, 
no direction a lot of ink mistakes um, using the wrong paper drawing creatures that don't make sense and I'm adding salt I love adding salt to watercolor paintings because it adds texture it's a watercolor technique that a lot of people use to add texture to their drawing and so I, I do it often I use salt a lot I just like how it turns out a lot of times but yeah no direction drawing and figuring it out as I go decided you know what I think I want to add some blue <clears throat> to it <clears throat> it kind of looks like a galaxy so oh yep there's another one tilted the paper while it was still too wet yep um I'm impatient so I'm using my heat gun now but yeah um, if anyone's wondering that is an aquash that's a Pentel aquash brush and it holds water so it's supposed to be a portable watercolor brush but I just add a few drops of India ink to it to make it an ink wash this is another mistake I'm using the wrong brush size is too thick so the lines are too thick as I'm painting using my wonderful fine tech gold paint I love my fine tech gold paint and wow we're already reaching the end of the video but yeah I I I'm again I'm really happy well not really happy but I'm satisfied that I I continue to work through it and just stick with it because in the end I, I do like how it turned out even with all the mistakes and look at that shimmer that's my fine tech for you gold watercolor palette I just love it I have to buy more though so yeah um, that's another video for you thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already it helps and I'll see you in the next video bye